Welcome to League of Legends, except we're playing Civ, because, I don't know, I don't feel like playing a lot of League of Legends games right now, I just want to play some Civ. Anyways, so I found a League of Legends mod for Civ 5, and I thought, well, I upload Civ 5 and upload League, why not do both? Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, if you want, so we're going to be playing as Mordekaiser, because out of the um, champs we have to pick... You know, Mordekaiser seemed like the best one. This is obviously an older mod because of the picture they used for Mordekaiser, you could just tell, and Ash, and some of these other characters. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, to be fair, there's a 12th person, um, which is Bilgewater, but the problem is they have a complete kill enabled for that character, and I don't like complete kills. Which basically means you have to kill all their cities and all their troops. And I don't want to have to hunt down their stupid troops. So, we've already got 11 people in the game. <clears throat> Might as well just leave it like this. Um, so, there's 11 civs, 8 city-states. We're playing on Earth map, standard size, uh, Prince difficulty, so just normal. Uh, playing on quick game pace, start from ancient era, you know, you know the drill. Uh, domination, no time. <laughs> uh, sorry about that uh just uh had something in my throat anyways uh time science cultural and diplomatic victories are disabled so only when through domination is it's the only viable way to win uh no max turns this will go till we win no policy saving or promotion saving no complete kills i did disable start bias I mean, it would give Ash and Azir, they're the only two who matter where they are. Ash obviously wants to be in the Freljord frozen areas and Azir on Tundra tiles, and Azir wants to be on desert tiles, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll live it. I want to see what he put them in. Uh, he might not have given them a start bias, so we might not even have to worry about it. Uh, no new random seeds, so, like, I can't just, you know do something have it fail and then just reload a game and do it till it works you know nothing like that if i if i'm gonna lose something i'm gonna lose something uh i have this disabled so we will have ancient ruins we will have barbarians i'm pretty sure i disabled this on my last run i don't know why i think i meant to do raging barbarians instead but we got barbarians i didn't put this on because that kind of killed me last time i needed to get rid of cities and i couldn't so now we have that enabled in case we need to. I do have no espionage. I'm not I'm not exactly the best at this game, and one thing I really suck at is espionage. I don't really care to learn how to do it, so we're just going to have it disabled. Uh, it's just one less you know, overall thing we have to worry about. We're not doing the one city challenge, although some characters can't build settlers. So I'm pretty sure Jace and Victor are the only two that can't build cities. They have to acquire them through other means. We have quick combat and quick movement to help my computer not die because of the insane amount of characters and maybe our game won't crash. Um, I don't have random personalities. I'd like them just to have whatever they're supposed to have and raging barbarians. Um, I know that I know barbarians benefits somebody. I think it might be Ash, but it's like uh, they have like a they have like the uh, German effect where it's like seventy five percent chance to convert them and get gold. Um. And we've already got a lot of sieves, so I think just turning off r raging barbarians and just having normal amount of barbarians is fine. Um, you know, you know, what? we'll turn it on. We live on the wild side, um, and I guess let's just get going. Okay, if the game crashes here, we'll know if I'll have to restart this and cancel a couple of people. But we should be fine. Uh, oh, I gotta read this. The Baleful, Revenant Mordekaiser, is among the most terrifying and hateful spirits haunting the Spirit Isles. He has existed for countless centuries, shielded from true death by necromantic sorcery and the force of his own dark will. O oh, Mordekaiser, the Shadow Isles await for you to command them. The Black Mist thirsts. Will you bring the harrowing unto everyone? Will you build a civilization that can stand the test of time? And then he's got his passive, the harrowing. So he gets a free shadow courthouse, which is two happiness, which is good. Extra happiness is really, really good. Um, 
uh, ba- but it, uh, you g- immediately get it, so you don't have to build it. So you don't have to build like a courthouse, which is really good. Uh, so every occupied city immediately gets it, so you never have unhappiness for having a occupied city. You have plus twenty percent unhappiness for number of cities. So the more cities you have, the multiplier for that goes up. So if you have two cities, you have 40% unhappiness. If you have five cities, you have 100% unhappiness. And it just, you know, goes off of whatever your un- current unhappiness overall level is. Uh, and then all melee units receive the siege promotion immediately. So you do more damage to cities, which is, again, really good. Is that a ruins right next to our spawn? What the crap? Anyways, we get uh, undead citizens. Uh, we can build it really quickly. Uh, we can uh, it replaces a swordsman uh, we can only we can build it and it heals after defeating enemy units uh, so like if you get the takedown kill you get health back um, and then we get the shower courthouse of course so I'm pretty sure it gives four unhappy four happiness maybe that or it's just two and it just says it twice um, but it also gives you 15 experience for land units so it's almost like a barracks courthouse which is really good this will help us in our junior okay so is this the best place to start i wonder we've got gems and we've got truffles so we've immediately got a lot of happiness stuff so i guess i'll just go ahead and settle here oh we found a map oh what the i wanted to okay that's stupid oh well um let's see so i want to we need trapping. So let's go ahead and get animal husbandry and just start doing that. Let's build... Um, let's do monument. Let's rush monument. So nobody should be overly aggressive. Oh, are we on freaking Af... No, we're on South America. I hate this start so much. I've had this start on a few different civs. I hate spawning in South America. It sucks because you can't get there unless you get navy, na- like navy stuff. So I guess we're lucky enough that I actually settled on the coast, so we can go other places. But this is really bad. Anyways, we're gonna just kind of fly through the turns as much as possible. Oh, we met we met Bandol City. We met the Yordles. Okay, cool. So they're down here. Oh, this is like rem- this is reminds me of a time whenever uh, I was doing a German run, and there was the uh, Incans down here. Oh, we got animal husbandry. Okay, do this. We get trapping. Uh, we can do horses. We can do truffles, diamonds, or gems. I guess. Let's. We could do a caravan even, and then just immediately start trading. Well, because there's barbarians, I'll wait and uh, make a worker. I was going to make a settler, but then it'll stall out our growth. Um, We can actually try to be production focused. Ah, dang it. Okay, never mind. If we switch to production focused, it'll take us a lot longer to grow our city and stuff. And we got a social policy early because we made the uh, monument. Let's see, we're gonna want to have really high border expansion. Let's see, construction rate improved by, oh, and tile improvement. Oh, okay, the collective rule would be really good. Uh, in every city in 5% production cities when constructing buildings okay this is actually really okay so I wanted to do this because you get border expansion and you get uh, more uh, culture in the capital and a bunch of other stuff we'll go for liberty and we're going to go for those settlers because there's uh, like spices and sugar and stuff over here that would be really good to have We probably want to get a city down here and try to get that cocoa. Why are you going over there? Oh, they've got tons. 
Do oh, we did turn on raging barbarians. To be fair. Anyways, we can already get another policy. So, let's do republic. So our buildings will be built really quickly. You guys keep exploring. Let's see. I do want to get a road going. I'm just kind of winging this. Uh, oh, we probably do want to get sailing though. Uh, what, are there any fish? I don't see any fish stuff near us. So... Let's go ahead and start going for a road. So we can make a road perhaps to Bandle City and actually like just trade with them. Cause like that's like another thing is I like like really heavy military uh, type things because that's like the only win I'm really good at is domination through, uh, you know, victory. But then it's also, uh, I like trading with civs a lot and doing that kind of aspect of it. Do we win? We do win. So we just want to keep fighting them. You guys automate. I know they're just gonna, they're just gonna work on the happiness stuff for us. Let's get, let's see, what should we get? Saying we should probably get a scout, but I think we should probably just work on, uh, Settler and let's go production focused That'll drop it by a turn And then over here we can get Oh, I do want to get a shrine though Okay, we'll get the shrine then we'll go for it. The wheel because if we get a shrine we can start making religion Do that kill them And we're good these guys get promoted. Let's give them drill because we're in a jungle. And they just need to start healing. Uh, if we accept embassy, they'll give us gold per turn, so sure. They just want to know where we are. No, did he? Is he like. Ex he's expanding on purpose towards that. Okay, get that. Got another six turns. We like. I feel like we just started recording and we're already twenty three turns in. It's another policy. Okay, here we go. Fifty percent faster, so that's gonna go from three turns to two turns, I guess. And we immediately get a free settler. So we want this settler to start heading left, and we'll have this settler start going down. Yeah, they're, fi they're founding Pantheons, which is not good for us. Are you kidding me? They literally just appeared. Okay, that's stupid. Uh, we should be able to take it back, I think, if we fight them. They can't use it. All right, so if we get mathematics, we can get the Shadow Courthouse, but I'd rather get, um, let's see, let's do this so we can start chopping down the forests. That'll help us so we can uh, be able to maneuver our forces a bit better because this is just stupid. Uh, and yeah, and they already got the cocoa. It's literally worthless now. They just keep running backwards. Holy crap. Yeah, this will be good because we have the bananas and the truffle stuff right there. Okay, let's make a scout. Let's just start making some scouts. They can move longer distances and they'll be able to get over here to fight. A minor victory. Okay, yeah, no, you guys start fortifying. You guys sit there. But they literally have our settler. OK, 
Okay, we can start researching. Oh, we probably have to get this, remove jungle. Right? Do we have jungle near us? Yeah, this is all jungle. So we've got to get bronze working. Let's make... Oh, here. Here, let's build a granary because we've got bananas. You can just kill them. Get that over with and we can start chasing them down. Here we want to go for a a granary. Why are we 55 turns? Oh, because we're production focused. What's going on? What are they? Oh, they tr pillaged our camp, so we're down food. Or down happiness, actually. Of course it's a camp. Of course it's literally just a camp. They're probably going to die because they're going to attack it. Yeah. Come on. Why can't I just make a settler? Let's do survivalism and start healing. They'll heal extra. I don't know if I should have done uh, Raging Barbarians. Because this is like getting really annoying. They've got a camp right on Earth. Oh, they don't even have a camp. They're just right there. Military advisor says this for the catapult, probably. Um... Yeah, I'd say we just probably need to go ahead and get this. Then for what's actually making, let's do a water mill for more food. Kill them. Hopefully the bandals help. Oh no, they're gonna try to take back our uh, settler. They're gonna be able to take just take our settler. There's so many. Get rid of them. I can get a new policy. Let's do this just so we get 33% more damage towards barbarians. Because again, this is getting ridiculous. So now we should be able to do a bit better at least against them. Okay, so we do win. We do win this fight. Uh, it's asking us to make something. There's still barbarians down here, probably. So let's do Temple of Artemis. They're going to be working on getting the truffles back up. Okay, we got our settler back. Let's go. Okay, now with that settler, we can. Uh, I thought I just want to settle like right up here. Wouldn't we? The iron's right there. That's two iron. It gives us access to sugar and spices, which we don't have. The iron's right here, though. I think it'd be better just so we can 
if anybody wants to try to come through, we can just lock them. Like, we just block them. Uh, City of Twisted Tree Line wants salt. Connecting that resource to your trade network will call this, cause the city to enter. We love the king. Kill them. Okay, we are making this. Okay, so we need 24 faith. Mathematics, classical era, yada yada. They have hand axes now? Go away. I don't I don't like you. Let's do masonry so we can get walls. You just need to start building. Um, let's have you build a monument. See an extra turn, but we won't be losing gold. We'll be making gold. Okay, this is good. Can we just buy something? Let's just have you buy a shrine so we can get a pantheon going a turn early. Okay, found the city. We've got the stuff. We are completely surrounded. Let's make the scout because everything else takes like 20 something turns. They're just going around burning our crap. And we can't fight them because we don't have any units. Yeah, but we can found a pantheon now. So let's see. Extra happiness from cities on river. Uh, I like the faster border growth. 15% production of wonders. Um, let's see. I like this 10% growth rate. So I'd say it's between border growth probably. And this, let's just do 10% faster. That'll help us uh, get our, that'll help us get our cities built up for more people. Cause the more people you have, the faster you can make stuff, obviously. Let's go down here. The goal is gonna be to get the scouts to get inside the city to boost the city's combat strength. Let's see, next we wanna get, the Colosseum will increase happiness, but I'd probably rather get a, let's see. Let's go for writing. Somebody built the Temple of Artemis, which cancels this one. Cool, I wasted a bunch of turns. Uh, you guys get in here so I can do more damage. And we're just going to have to start making more workers. Or oh, wait, 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 hold up. Ooh, tile improvement construction speed increased by 25% in two workers? Uh, that is worth it. You guys fortify. Shadow Isles grew. Twelve, thirteen. We won't be making gold, but we will get it a turn early for extra workers so we can start getting stuff back up. Here we just need to make I probably say just water mill. Because we'll get more food. They'll make that'll make a scout soon. Okay, we're doing we're recovering from the onslaught of barbarians.
there's like there's it's just there's so many there's like three camps uh total we took out one of them we got writing done keep firing let's go ahead and get sailing done and then let's do optics so that way we can actually like we won't be landlocked um so let's have you fortify there we need to have all cities have just some unit just sitting in them black mist you start making a monument and this turn we can adopt a policy So, let's see, aesthetics, we've got, that's for city-states, it's for religion, uh, let's just adopt tradition, I know it's like you're supposed to finish these out so you can get the, like, bonuses, I guess we'll just do, the, we'll, we'll finish liberty and then we'll go through tradition, um, let's see, citizenship, uh, we get a worker and we get top improvement construction rate by 25% so let's do that we've got a worker worker work they basically prioritize what I want them to do anyways which is fix everything that's broken and then make stuff that's not broken uh, do stuff so we'll be getting gems soon we'll be getting sugar uh, we need a calendar to make do sugar what I didn't know that so we can start making that this turn Let's see calendar I guess you have to have a plantation to make sugar now we might try to buy some spaces before we run out uh, so let's do let's buy the gem tile I want to buy this sugar tile as well There we go. We got that locked. Okay, we got everything that I want locked. Uh, except for maybe like the iron there. But I can't buy it. It's like just out of reach. So we're doing good. Uh, we're starving, basically, is what I was trying to say. Oh, we're down to 10. What does 10 do? Uh, uprisings. Okay, so every few turns we'll have barbarians just up here. Okay, so we need to get start making stuff that makes us happy. So next time I'll start constructing the Colosseum after optics. We got this done, so we've got two workers. Automate, automate. Shoot them down. And you start making. Let's see, what do we want you to start making? Um, make a library. Let the people read. And. This will be really good, but I also kind of want to do Statue of Zeus because our main thing is attacking cities, so an extra 15% is kind of crazy. Uh -huh.